is going to be a guide to some potential builds for the upcoming 7 star Pikachu raids for Pokemon Day. Before we get into the builds, uh, we're just going to go over what I think this Pikachu is going to look like, slash the moves it's going to have, and maybe how it's going to set up, slash run. So we'll go over that first. So it's obviously going to be quite an OP Pikachu. Um, it's going to have its hidden ability of Lightning Rod just going off the basis that the last three 7 star raids have all had their hidden abilities. So obviously, although this Pikachu is a water terror type, which would make it weak to electric type moves, its ability Lightning Rod will negate that weakness, so do not bring any electric types to this raid. I also think that this Pikachu could have the held item of Light Ball, given that that's Pikachu's like signature held item, uh, which doubles Pikachu's attack and special attack stats. So this Pikachu could be a mixed attacker, but just going off the moves in its arsenal, I'm going to guess that it's going to be more likely to be special, but it could be mixed. Which brings me on to the predicted moveset for this Pikachu. So given that it's a water terror type, uh, I'm guessing they're obviously going for the gimmick of the surfing Pikachu. So I think it's pretty safe to assume that this Pikachu is going to know the move Surf, as well as the moves Rain Dance and Thunder. So I'm assuming the Rain Dance is going to be on there because it buffs the power of water type moves so that will make the Pikachu surf more powerful and thunder will be on it because when the rain is up thunder is 100% accurate so I feel like these three moves in thunder, rain dance and surf all kind of work in tandem together. As for the fourth move I'm not entirely sure this could really be a toss up between a lot of moves I mean nasty plot is an option to buff its special attack if it's going to be a special attacker but then it could have access to Iron Tail, just for like anime references and a bit of coverage, maybe even Volt Tackle uh, or Nuzzle, just for like paralysis shenanigans. If I had to guess, I would say maybe it's going to have Nuzzle, given that all other 7 star terror raids have done like two moves before the raid technically begins. If you think back to Charizard, it would overheat, then reset its stats, Cinderace would bulk up an attack, Greninja would put down spikes and then double team I think it's kind of maybe safe to suggest that Pikachu will probably rain dance and then either attack or buff its stats but I think it's probably going to rain dance and maybe go to paralyze you with a nuzzle or a thunder wave but that's pretty much all my thoughts on this Pikachu and what I think it will do slash the moves it will have so now we're going to get on to some of the builds that I think would work really great to take this Pikachu out. The first of these Pokemon is Arbeliever, if that's how you pronounce it. You're going to have a Grass Terror type on this, with the ability Seed Sower. Uh, what that does is any time you are hit by an opponent, you set up Grassy Terrain. And what Grassy Terrain does, if you didn't know, is it gives you a 30% buff to all Grass type moves. And it gives you like a little bit of like leftovers healing every turn. Uh, for the Held Item, you're going to want the Big Root on this. And for the EV spread, you're looking at 252 in HP, 200 in special attack, and then 56 in defense. The moveset consisting of Safeguard, uh, you're going to want to use this on the first turn really. Uh, this protects your entire team from status conditions for 5 turns. Sunny Day, to debuff the water type moves that Pikachu has, and to also get rid of the rain that Pikachu will potentially try and set. Uh, there's a couple of other Pokemon that are in this build that will be using Solar Beam. You can put Solar Beam on this Arbeliever if you want. Obviously, when the sun's up, the Solar Beam doesn't need to take that turn before to charge, so you can just fire off base 120 stab grass type moves basically every turn once the sun's up. We've got Giga Drain just for some stab uh, health recovery. And for the last move slot, I've actually gone with Pollen Puff just because this is a nice little alternate way to heal your teammates which i think is uh, quite useful on a support pokemon so another pokemon that i think synergizes quite well with this arbeliever is appleton once again you're going to want the grass terror type on this appleton with the ability of ripen for those who don't know what ripen does it just doubles the effects of a held berry so given that we've got the ripen ability we're going to have a citrus berry on this appleton with an EV spread of 252 in HP, 196 in special attack and 60 in defense. With a moveset consisting of Apple Acid. Uh, this is a base 80 power stab grass type move that lowers the target special defense by one stage. Which is obviously useful for terror raids so the whole time you're lowering Pikachu special defense by stage whilst doing some stab damage. 
It also helps your teammates out that are doing any other special moves on the Pikachu. You've got the egg move of Recycle on this Appleton. Uh, that just lets you reuse uh, a berry you've already eaten. So you can essentially have infinite health with this Appleton build if you time your recycles correctly. We've also got Sunny Day on this one, which is to lower the damage again of the water type attacks that the Pikachu might have, but also to negate that charge turn that Solar Beam needs when it's not in the sun. And then of course for the last move, we've got Solar Beam on this Appleton to fire away base 120 stab grass type moves when the sun is up. If you do manage to synergize this Pokemon well with the Arbor Lever that I previously mentioned, then obviously both these Pokemon don't need Sunny Day on them. So you could probably get rid of Sunny Day for something else on this Appleton, like Growth or Helping Hand or Grassy Terrain. Again, if you're doing this for an Arbor Lever, you don't need the Grassy Terrain, but Helping Hand's always an option. This brings us onto our third Pokemon for this list, which is Clodsire. You're going to want the ground terror type on this Clod Sire with the ability Water Absorb to obviously take a zero damage from Pikachu's Surf attacks. It's also worth mentioning that Clod Sire is also part of ground type, so it will take no damage to any of Pikachu's electric type attacks either. For the item, we've just gone with a Shell Bell uh, on this Clod Sire just for constant little bits of HP recovery here and there. Uh, as for the EV spread, we're looking at 252 in HP, 120 in special attack, and 136 in special defense. Now onto the move set. So we're gonna go for Earth Power on this Clod Sire. Uh, I know Clod Sire's physical attack is higher than its special attack, but all of these Pokemon, like I said, I want them to kind of be able to synergize together. So we're going basically for all special attackers on this video. In the second move slot, you're gonna want to move the Acid Spray. Uh, Acid Spray is pretty much a staple for Terror Raids because it does damage and lowers the target's special defense by two stages and it works through shields so if you're not using Acid Spray on Pokemon in Terror Raids then you're doing them wrong. In the third slot we're actually going to go with Mud Slap uh, and this is just to get some accuracy debuffs on a Pikachu every turn you attack. So if the Rain Dance isn't up and it's trying to shoot off those Thunders which are already 70% accurate, if you keep lowering its accuracy it's going to find it really hard to hit you with anything. Especially if it also has Iron Tail, which again only has 75% accuracy. Like, this Pikachu's going to be blind, bro. But as for the fourth slot, there's not really a right or wrong answer here. You could opt for Recover, uh, but that is an egg move. Uh, and that's just for HP recovery. You could opt for Yawn to put a Pikachu to sleep. Or, you know, you could opt for a Chilling Water. Uh, just in case the Pikachu is a mixed attacker and it's hitting you with physical moves. That's always an option too. But yeah, there's not really a strict right or wrong answer here. I'd probably opt for the recover, just so that if you run out of heal cheers, you can keep battling, at least. Which brings us on to our final Pokemon for this video, which is Toad's Crawl. You're going to want the Grass Terror type on this. Uh, Toad's Crawl's ability is pretty shit, so I'm not even going to cover it. We're not using this Pokemon for its ability like some of the others. Um, and the held item that we're going to want on it is the light clay. As for the EV spread, you're looking at 252 in HP, 196 in special attack, and 60 in defense. Which brings us on to the move set. Once again, we've got Acid Spray on a Pokemon, which lowers the target special defense by two stages and works through shields. Um, but this Toad's Crawl is here for the main supporting role. So it has dual screens in Reflect and Light Screen, which obviously buffs the defense and special defense of your entire team. Obviously, if Pikachu isn't a mixed attacker and it's only special, then just run Light Screen and switch the Reflect out for something else, like Taunt, for example. And the last move you're going to want on this Toad's Crawl is Giga Drain, which is just Stab HP Recovery. Now, I'm aware there's probably a lot of Pokemon that can actually take down this Pikachu because it's probably going to be the easiest 7-star raid we've had so far. So if you have any other ideas, feel free to let me know what they are in the comments below. And also, while you're down there, let me know what you think of my builds in this video. But that's all for today. Hopefully, these raids are actually really easy to farm and we can get like a buttload of candies and shit from it. Um, but yeah, if you're new here, please like and subscribe as it helps the channel grow and I can keep making these videos. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.